How's it going, everybody? Brandon T. Adams here. I'm going to have Samantha jump in here. By the way, that's a picture of our elephant that we have above our wall. Isn't that cool? We uh, just got back from Puerto Rico, and wow, have we had an interesting trip. And we're going to share the, our experience with our trip or having our trip together. The experience we had, uh, how today we thought literally we were going to die. Um, I've been on a lot of airplanes, and today I literally like thought we were going down. And uh, so we're going to share that. And then also I want to talk about our mastermind that we're doing. And also want to talk about the principles of Think and Go Rich that we have applied in our life over the past, what, it's been four years, hon. Mm -hmm. Four years. By the way, when I first, <laughs> when we first started dating, what was the first gift I gave you, Sam, was a, a copy of Think and Go Rich? Yep. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. She's like, uh, what's this? Like, what, what, what's up, Darian? How you doing, buddy? Um, so we're going to talk about the principles of Think and Go Rich and how we've applied them and how we've really grown together. You know, we look back in the past, like, four years. Dude, we've been on a journey. We've mm -hmm. done, well, some things we were like, we don't even want to talk about, but like just from Arctic stick to crowdfunding to, to even the, the TV world. And then, then with fitness and moving, I mean, moved to Des Moines, we went to start a product development company and now we're in Florida, which but is a, we broke up for eight months. We broke up for eight months and that journey, what that was like and how I applied the principles of thick and rich to get her back. <laughs> but no, uh, it, we've we've really grown together and we've we've had quite the journey like just growing together and learning more about each other right and just how the principles in the book have helped us better understand who we are i mean you've understood better like i've understood better who i am and uh anyway so first before we get into that let's talk about our trip to puerto rico Look at her face. <laughs> so, so we went, was it Wednesday? Wednesday, yep. So Wednesday, we were supposed to be in Puerto Rico. And what happened, Sam? Well, we got delayed. <laughs> and, you know, it was, it was fine. Like, I accepted it. And we got it, you know, we had our connecting flight rearranged so that we get there Wednesday night. And, you know, I had a really bad week. So many things happened, and I was just like, my life is terrible right now. And I just need this vacation. And We both need a trip. Yeah, we just needed a trip because the lifestyle that we live as entrepreneurs, you know, isn't all rainbows. And, you know, we have our ups and downs, and it's ultimately up to us what our success is like we don't have someone in corporate saying you know here's your paycheck and this is what you need to get done so you know it is stressful but it's a lifestyle that we live and we choose to live because we love it we and love we're passionate it. freedom so anyways we had that and so just so you know we were in miami and we were in orlando orlando first orlando and by the way they wouldn't let us check our bags which are no they wouldn't let us carry on our bags which we carry them or on carry them on every single other time so i freaked out of course i'm like we have our video equipment and you know my high maintenance ass brought all her diva stuff so it's like you know i just don't want you to, like throwing my stuff around well, they took our stuff and threw it down the dang thing, and I was, like, freaking out. Like, I had $2,000 worth of equipment in my suitcase that they tossed. Like, slammed tossed, down. Tossed. And it hit and bounced off the bottom. I yeah. was irate. And he doesn't get mad. He's like, you know, it's just stuff. But, like, his Don't touch face, my camera. Yeah. Like, it was just really bad. Anyway, so... We're with nothing now because all of our stuff's in our carry-on. We get to Miami, every single flight in the whole airport is delayed until the next day because of weather. Well, I go and wait in a line for two hours and to rebook my flight and to get my bag. 
And the guy goes, oh, yeah, you don't get to get your bag until tomorrow. They'll send it to Puerto Rico on the first flight, whether you guys go or not. And I, like, look at him. He's just seeing her face. And I just. I'm, I, look, I'm like, looking at the guy. Don't, don't. don't yeah, stop. like, I was like, oh, no, you did kill it. kill you. Yeah, so then he gives me this little pouch with some toothpaste and deodorant that doesn't even smell good. And a toothbrush and some hairspray. Like, who needs hairspray? Like. I need mouthwash. Don't give me hairspray. And anyways, so like... We spent the night in Miami. We spent the, the night in said. Miami in some hotel, and we woke up at 3 a.m. to get on the, <clears throat> the standby flight. And our bags, we get a text message saying, my bag is in Seattle, Washington. So I talked to the people. They're like, yeah, we don't know why I got sent there. And then I call the people online. Oh, yeah, it looks like your bag's in Seattle. I don't know why I got sent there. Like... Are you kidding me? Like, do you know the difference between Seattle and San Juan? So, and then we get to the airport, and there's 140. If you've ever been on standby, it's not fun. So basically, you are last case. Like, they first fill the plane, and then if there's spots left, you're on standby. There were 140 people on standby. Well, like children, babies, they were sleeping on the floor. It was so sad. Luckily, I fly a lot, so I'm a Vantage Gold member holder, whatever you want to call it. They had me at number three, but they had Samantha, and I bought the ticket at the same time. They had Samantha at 12, and I went up to the lady. I'm like, does this mean, like, can I have her come with me at the same time? She's like, no, you guys can go separately. Or I'm like, you really think I'm going to leave my girlfriend in yeah. Miami, and then we're going to just meet in Puerto Rico? It doesn't work that way. So, luckily, they called my name. Okay, I had a way. We, we gave got, the spot away. We gave the spot away. We got Samantha. We were the last two people on the plane to Puerto Rico. Otherwise, we were going to get to Puerto Rico. Out of 10. So, the other 132 people with their babies and their, like, they, they didn't make luggage. It. They didn't make it to Puerto Rico. They didn't make it. So, we made it to Puerto Rico. And we got there, and we were so thankful, and we somehow found our bags there. We got our bags. Everything was good, and we just came to realize, like, we appreciate the little things. Yeah, like, for, like I felt like my life was taken out of my hands. And, like, for someone else to have that much advantage over me and Brandon, like, bless his heart for putting up. And, like, he turned my world back to reality because I was... I was looking at flights to Nashville, Tennessee from Miami because I didn't want to go to San Juan. I didn't care my bags were going there. We are going shopping. We're going to the mall. We're getting me some new clothes. We're going to Nashville. We wanted, so she, she wanted to go to Nashville. I was game, but the problem is we didn't have our bags, so we couldn't even, we had nothing to take to Nashville. Right. So anyways, we got through it, and the one thing I kept telling Samantha is like, you know what? It's shitty right now. There's a lot of things going wrong, but... If we get mad about it, it's it's not going to really help our situation. I mean, we can be pissed, but we just got to keep moving forward. Well, we, we kept moving forward. We, all these negative things, like, oh, screw it, we're not going to go on the trip, we're going to go back home, whatever. Oh. But we kept positive. We made it to Puerto Rico. We had a great trip. We had so much fun. And it made me think about, she even she mentioned yeah, this, not we, me. We said at the same time, we're like, I the whole time I was like three feet from gold, three feet from gold, like... You know, if you read the if you read the book Think and Grow Rich, which women, ladies, I recommend you read it because it is so life changing. Like, you know, I turned my program over in a couple months because of this book. But it's a book about you know how that or this story specifically was about someone giving up and they were so close to that gold when someone else came in and and got it. And, and got it. A couple of three feet three later, feet from and gold. I was like, you know, I'm not going to give up, even though I had the worst week of my life. We're not there till Thursday. We weren't supposed to get there till Friday. They said, you know, there's just so many things where I was like, I mean, I was looking at flights. I was like, get me a rental car, Brandon. Like he luckily <laughs> can put up with me because if you know me, mm, I am not a nice person. You know, like if things aren't going my way, when I pay so much money for it to go that way. <laughs> So we, we thought of the three feet from gold scene. Yes. And that whole, the, our experience for the trip is we just kept going. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we looked back on our life. So we, you know, a lot of people, they don't realize, Samantha and I, it, it, the, 
for my team, everybody that's worked with us, Andrew Zalaski has been around yes. five years. You, four years. And our first like big endeavor, Samantha and I moved to Des Moines to start a product development company. It failed. We didn't move forward. Just talk about horror stories. We went and did a crowdfunding campaign together, which we won't even go all the details of Arctic Stick. We did our, the first crowdfunding campaign that ever happened in my history. We did, It was Samantha and I and Andrew Zlasky. And that was a journey. And we've had ups and downs. I mean, it was so much. I was traveling and like I lost focus on you and I was like grinding. And, and I know a lot of entrepreneurs and couples do that. They what one of them is like so focused on their dream, but they, they lose focus on what really means the most to them, their significant other. Right. And uh, we broke up and that was like hard on us both for eight months. And we looked back at everything and it comes down to that three feet from gold scene. It's in life, you need to always think you could be three feet from gold. You could be three feet from your goal or your finish line. You could be one email away from getting a big sale. You could be literally just fingertips away from getting what you want in life. And we take that on every single day. We have a lot of struggles. There's obstacles. I mean, like she said, like we don't just, we have to make the things we got to make. We have to get to our goals. Nobody's going to give it to us. We don't have corporate send us a check every week. Like we have to make money. Right. We have to do things we want. And we supplement each other in that. And where we've, one thing we're really excited on is we, we follow the principles. So, so for thinking to rich, you have persistence, you have a, a big strategy, a plan in place. You have your, your uh, what is it, positive mindset. You have your mastermind principle, which is a big thing. And then for me, the influence, influence from uh, a man or a woman to help you become more successful. So it's proven that a man or a woman can influence you to become more successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, your relationship can, can make you or break you. And there's a lot of relationships out there. That it ruins them because they're in the wrong relationship. And for us, we've always pushed each other. You, she pushes me, like literally pushes me to become, and even in the gym too. Um, and I push her, but we make each other better and we supplement each other in our goals. And just for us, we have, for one, the mastermind principle is one of the main principles I love and think and go rich. Well, it's when, I, I also want to add in like, you have to, if you're going to support your significant other, like you have to support them. Like you have to understand that they're going to do things that you don't necessarily believe in but you have to believe in them anyway and he needs to believe in me for my fitness uh career and i need to believe in him for his crazy uh accelerant mastermind things and like we might not agree on everything and it might be really hard at times, but like we still have to push each other forward. Otherwise, we're going to keep going downhill. And when we hit those bumps, we have to go up. Like it's scary to be an entrepreneur. Like you, it's all in your hands. So ultimately, it's up to you whether it, you're going to get that paycheck. It's up to you. You got to go out and get it. Nobody's going to give it to you. And and what she's getting at is really we we supplement each other, we push each other because we have to. We're a team, right. and we are a mastermind in itself. So the definition of mastermind is when two or more people come together uh, in perfect harmony towards a common goal in mind, and that's what we've done over the past four years and with our goals with each other for what she's doing, what I'm doing, but together what our goals are. And uh, so we're actually Samantha, we're we're doing a mastermind, and it starts this week. And we, we actually were excited, so we have a few more spots open for it. And we're our first weekend's in Orlando, Florida here. They're gonna come down to Orlando. We're gonna mastermind for a few days. And then we have one stop in Iowa, in the middle of Iowa, and then in, in December in California. And so what it'll be is uh, she'll, she'll be with me and we'll be doing our mastermind approach, but we'll be around a circle helping each other. We bring in speakers. We actually film all this for a TV show and a film that we're creating based off of this to show how the 10 people in our group, the progress they make in six months and to show the real results of what a mastermind truly does, how the power of minds together, how they can affect each other in a way to reach their goals. So that's one big thing we're working on and we're excited on and we're excited for the different girls are going to be in it, guys are in the group and everybody that's going to be working with us on it. But one other thing we do want to mention, we've been planning something kind of brainstorming. Crazy. Crazy. 
So one thing we want to do is now one thing we are going one to thing do. we are going to do is we intend in 2018 to travel to 12 cities in 12 months and spend 30 days in a different city and basically capture all this on film. Uh, actually film this and the whole point is to go to different cities across the country and experience the city and learn see what the entrepreneur atmosphere is like and actually film this and we both have our own lives with her doing fitness and and the business in my crazy life but to do it together and travel and document everything and so by the way if you know anything we're looking at actually having a completely sponsored the entire trip and and turning this into something really cool and as of now, our cities that we have, do you want to mention a couple that we're thinking about? This is, by the way, if you have any well, suggestions. Well, Puerto Rico is number one because I... Puerto Rico. You know, I went a lot in high school and it just is one of my favorite spots in the whole entire world. So, so Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, Denver, Colorado, Seattle, no, Washington. No, not Seattle. We're, well, Washington, D.C., um, not Seattle. I know that... Is Seattle in Washington? That's different. They're different but ones. But Seattle's in Washington. Okay. Right? Seattle is a different Washington. I know that. It's on the left side. The other one's on the right side. So we failed social studies, or was that geography? I don't know. This is why I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, well, what's the one in Seattle that we're going to? So we're, we're going to Portland, or Oregon. Portland, <laughs> Port, Portland <laughs> Oregon. Portland, Oregon. And then we're Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I actually want to go to Boston, Massachusetts. We're looking at Scottsdale, Arizona, San Francisco, Madison, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin San Francisco, um, somewhere in Texas. We don't know the city yet. So we want to travel to 12 cities, or we're going to travel to 12 cities and spend a month in each city. We're going to document this all. It'll turn into a TV show. We'll film it all of it. Uh, we're actually going to plan on selling major I know, I am, selling most of the things that we own. I'm selling my bed and my beautiful couch and a lot of my clothes because, you know, when we were in Puerto Rico, I realized that I don't need this stuff. Like, I want to travel and I want to, long as like, we, long as we got our, our fitness stuff, we got our cameras. Yeah. Um, I don't we, need it. We got our videographers. We're good. We have three TVs. That I've never even turned the TV on. We don't even need, we like, don't need the this TVs. Is so, we don't need and, it. Again, when you, when you like go through an experience where you like think, oh my gosh, this is like the most, the worst thing that could happen to me. Like you realize like these little things are like nothing. You don't mean shit. And I mean, you, if you know me, I'm a diva. I like my stuff. And I realize, Samantha, realize that I don't need it. So. You, we, you don't need material things. So you don't. So what we're going to do is sell a bunch of our stuff. Um, I mean, we have online businesses and. So we plan traveling and we're actually, so talking about thinking go rich again, you have to have a strategic plan in place. So we have six months to plan this and this is a big endeavor. Like I don't know how many people have done this. I know other people in the world have done this, but this is something that where we travel 12 cities in 12 months, we spend a year traveling on the road. Um, we'll probably end up getting like a Tahoe. We're looking at flying a suburban. A suburban. Uh, we're probably looking at getting uh, either a hotel or getting a different complex to sponsor all of it, and we can do shout outs to them in our show. Um, but this can be a cool. Well, pro not necessarily. It's maybe Airbnb. Is maybe cool. Airbnb. Well, again, we we're just brainstorming through this. But all we know is we're going to travel twelve cities in twelve months. We're going to document this, turn it into a TV show, and we're actually the plan is to study entrepreneurs in different cities and see how they they do their startup system, their ecosystem. I, I've been all over the country. But I want to see directly what they're doing, and we're going to have fun in the process, and we're going to go out of our comfort zone because this is something that like. I mean, like why not? Why I, not? I like seriously was on the plane today. By the way, we have to tell you about that. You know, we got delayed, and like we thought we were we've gonna flown die. a lot, and I have never had my such, heart was beating such fear in my life. I was like, I wanted to do a video to my parents telling them that I love them. I mean, so we we actually like we were up in the air, and I've been on hundreds of planes, and we go up. And you, you have the speed going up, but then it like, well, it got really quiet. And it, like, my heart. felt like you were going backwards. And so I looked at Sam, and I knew she was nervous. And I could both, like, we'd feel each other that we were nervous, but we didn't say anything. And I'm like, looked at her, I'm like, that's weird. 
And it was really, I'm like, shit, are we gonna die? At least we die together. But no, it was, it was at least we die together. But no, it was, it was, it was scary. And it made us think like, what if we did die? You know, that, that's, that's it. You know, we have so many more things we want to achieve. And that's a lesson for all of you. Life is so short. Why not live life to the fullest? Why not? It is. It's our duty. Like, it's our duty and our choice to, to, like, if I were to die today, like, I would be pissed off that I didn't go and travel to these 12 cities. Like, and do more stuff with everything. And, yeah. that's, and that's why I always say. And family. The, and family. Family has become so important to me, especially. And even, like, us taking this trip. Like, this is the things you need to do. Right now, if you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, like, go take a trip with them. Like, you need that. Just think if you, you ended it, it, it all goes away tomorrow. Family is what you have. Go home, see your family. And in, in something like this, we just, we looked at each other. It's like, you know what? This trip, this, this plan that we have in 2018, it's something we have to do because life is so short. It's not going to affect anything with our businesses. Because actually, it's going to supplement them because I can be wherever I want. As long as I have my computer and my camera, I'm good to go. As um, long as she has her weights <laughs> at a gym, she's good to go. No, but and I have a huge vision of something that I've been wanting to do so bad for women that this is my opportunity to do it. And who cares if five people show up to this? I don't care because... I'm doing it. She's doing it. And, I'm doing it. And that's why we're excited for the next six months. This week we're kicking off a mastermind and we're both going to, everybody in the group is going to better got themselves. got Christina. got Christina. We have Chelsea. We have Chelsea. Bernard. We got Bernard. Some, we got, we got a bunch of people in the group that are, we're excited to have in this and we're going to have fun. And uh, for all of you, if you're interested in this and if you have interest in joining our mastermind, um, message me. I'm actually, we're getting ready for it. Wednesday is our first call. We got Joel Com on the call. And then in like 10 days is our first weekend yeah, in Orlando. Yeah, so they get to come hang out. And get to hang out in Orlando, Florida. And we're we're going to have, have some, a really fun time. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have fun. We're going to mastermind. We're going to learn. And we're going to be around people that are going to want to support each other. And it, for any goals that you want, Sam and I realize, like, we can't just, we need to help each other do this trip in 2018. We need to help each other with our goals, but we need insight and feedback from other people in a mastermind group. And for you, if you want to achieve big goals, you have to surround yourself with people that will build you up. Mm -hmm. Positive energy. Negativity, you don't want to be around. And we've had a lot of negativity in the past week just from traveling and people that don't like their job and how they treat people. And it, it's very sad. Oh, yeah. the the air, Some of the airport people, they, they were so cruel. Like... It was heartbreaking of how cruel they were. It's like, this is your job. I know, like, you have thousands of people getting mad at you, but... They treated people very... just Very bad. Very bad. John, oh, nice. Somebody already offered us office space uh, that we can use if we go to Silicon Valley. So, look, Ooh. see, it's just a matter of that. By the way, if you know anybody that could use this message or they, they would love to uh, give us some insight and be our host, host and meeting, like, tour guide for a city... Um, 2018, we're already opening things up and we're going to be planning this trip, traveling the country, 12 cities in 12 months. It's going to be in a TV show and uh, we're going to actually have some fun in this process and who knows what will happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm the camera know. girl. She's the camera girl. So then you're the only one on the show. I'm, I'm not, what? We, we the need, Brandon show. But we, we need, I need guests on the show. Like I need people that, so we need, we need two cameras, honey. We'll figure it out. But you heard it here, we said it publicly, and this is what's gonna happen. We are going to be filming a show in 2018, 12 cities in 12 months, 30 days in each city, some months is 28, some 30, whatever the, the, the different days are that mess up each month. But anyways, we're gonna do that. If you like us, come to your city, let us know. If you have interest in joining the Mastermind, uh, please message us and let us know. And we, we're looking forward to seeing you, and we're going to continue. And by the way, if you haven't, read the book Thick and Grace yes. by Napoleon Hill. And you have to. One of the biggest things that um, I got out of the book also was you have to have people who see the vision with you. Like, there's going to be people, there's people that roll their eyes and, you know, don't support you. And that's fine. You can still, you know, be nice and support them, but... You need to find a group of people that see the vision with you. And that's why we're doing this mastermind because 
it's so important and we all have different aspects of success and when you put that in one room it's, it's powerful it's so powerful like i can't wait for it i don't work with brandon <laughs> Like, I've joined this mastermind, and this is, like, a huge step for me because we've become closer the past couple months with everything that's going on, and and it's just so cool that I finally get to, that I finally feel that, like, wow, what I see him do, I want it, and I'm going to, I'm going to outpass him. <laughs> she's going she's gonna to pass me, which I love it. No. She can, but no, it's seriously, though, and, it, and again, talking about vision, not everybody's going to believe in your vision and yeah. you got to be good at enrolling others into your vision and support each other on that. And you know, that's one thing like this girl has always believed in me even the times when we had nothing. And I'm like, Sam, I don't know how we're going to get through this. I, especially when we moved to Des Moines and I'm like, Oh shit, I don't, I'm broke. But we, we've always figured it out together and it, it's, I couldn't, I, I swear everything publicly, I could have never done it without her. And I've had her pushing me to become better. For you, find somebody that pushes you, whether that's significant other or just somebody in your mastermind group on your team to push you. Your team is everything. You are the average of the five people you hang out with. Right here, this is who I hang out with all the time. She pushes me every single day. We mastermind. We we create great ideas, and my team and everybody we else. Mastermind. We mastermind. I never thought I would say that. We mastermind. Like we mastermind the whole trip. I was like, okay. In Port and I my email is like mastermind in Puerto Rico. I actually had because people that email me, they were autoresponder. I'm gone until Monday, but no, and seriously. It was so fun because like it's so passionate and like. Like we, 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 we enjoyed it. And especially when you're having a cocktail in the process. I, I don't mean, believe they put alcohol in those. I, I had like I, 50 and I was We had a shot of tequila and honestly, I think there was like, I paid $26 for two shots and I, I feel like there was no, it was <laughs> watered was like, down. It, it was whatever. 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 Anyways. Uh, oh, by the way, shout out again. It's her birthday. Um, it was Friday. She turned 28. Oh. Don't remind me. I'm 27. I'm, I'm, she's like a cougar. What the heck? I'm, I'm going with older women here. But anyways, she's 28. I'm 27. I turned 28 on New Year's Eve, which is the day before our 12 month trip. No, the day before, and the day before, no, the day after our lease is up here in Orlando. So yeah, and we can get out of this place. These guys are assholes here. <laughs> it's a night. It's great. It's fine. No. I like Orlando. I like Orlando. I just don't like the. But I'll miss so Ricky if you're listening, Ricky. I yeah. Miss you. So, anyways, uh, thank you all. We appreciate you, Sam and I. Love you all. And uh, if you know anybody that thinks they would love to give us info on their city, or they would like to be a sponsor on this endeavor, or would like mastermind to join our mastermind. Uh, message us or share this with anybody. We, this has been fun. We enjoy doing these. Um, until next time, y'all. Do you want to end it, Sam? Um, do you have anything else to say? Do I you? have a lot to say, but you're going to have to join the mastermind. How does how does the end of my show always go? Create something great. And become unforgettable because life's too short not to. I'm Brandon T. Adams. Have a great day, everyone. See y'all later. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs>